Come in. Hi, nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> my name is Briley. I'm going to be your nurse practitioner today. Is it okay if I wash my hands, take a seat, and we can talk? Yeah, of course. Perfect. So I washed my hands earlier, but I'm just going to do a little bit of sanitizer. Mm -hmm. All right, so first, go ahead and tell me your name and date of birth, please. John Carver, and my birthday is 8-16-95. I'm Carver, it's nice to meet you, John. Nice to meet you. What brings you in here today? Just a general visit. Good, okay. Um, any recent illness that I should know about? Nope. Good, no fever, nausea or vomiting? Um, okay, no cough, cold, fever, flu, or rash, correct? No. Perfect, okay, so we're gonna really focus on your chest today, your chest and your heart and your lungs. Um, any chest pain that you've experienced? No, ma'am. Any dis uh, difficulty breathing? No. Um, night sweats. Are you waking up and feeling like super hot? Nope. Perfect. Any dizziness? Um, have you experienced any um, syncopal episodes or passing out? No. No? no? Okay. Um, what about any abnormal swelling? Any swelling in your arms or legs that you've noticed recently? Nope. Perfect. So no history of any cardiac or breathing is issues? Nope. No history of asthma? Okay. And, and have you ever had an exposure to tuberculosis? Uh, not that I know. Okay, wonderful. All right, so what do you like to do in your free time, John? I uh, just work out and exercise and play lacrosse. Okay, so you're pretty active. Yeah. Well, that's a good thing. Have you noticed any chest pain or pressure when you're working out? No, I haven't. Okay, have you ex ever experienced like palpitations or has your heart ever felt weird? No. Okay, well, these are all good signs. Um, so I think you've answered enough questions. Next, we're going to go ahead and do your physical exam, okay? Um, so could, would you, if you wouldn't mind, could you go ahead and take your shirt off for this? Yeah, of course. Thank you. Alright, I'm going to move my chair out of the way. Okay. Alright, so for the first part of the exam, we're going to go ahead and do some ex um, just inspection, okay? I mean, I'm just going to take a look um, at your thoracic area, and I'm really just looking for symmetry, okay? So I can see looking at your front to your back, it's very symmetrical in um, terms of shape, and also it's... Um, both on the same side, it's very equal, so that's a good sign, okay? So also, I'm gonna go ahead and check uh, what's called thoracic expansion. So if you wouldn't mind, I'm gonna have you stand up. And you can actually turn away from me. So I'm just gonna place my hands on your lower back, okay? Mm -hmm. And then I want you to go ahead and take a deep breath in. Perfect. So what you couldn't see, but I could see, is that my hands are placed just like this. So when you take a nice deep breath, very symmetrically and even, my hands expand, which tells me that you're um, your breathing is normal, okay? Um, you can go ahead and sit down. Um, the next thing we're gonna go ahead and do is, um, basically, I've just been looking at you since we've been doing this exam and I can tell that you're not really having any difficulty breathing. Your respiratory effort is what I would consider to be unlabored, meaning you're not struggling to breathe. I don't see any retraction near your rib area um, and you're holding a really good conversation, so that tells me good things, okay? The next thing we're gonna be doing is um, palpating for what's called fremitus. So I'll place my hands on your chest and also again on your back and I'll have you repeat the word 99 over again and I'm basically looking to feel for little vibrations. Okay, so if you can go ahead and stand for me. Thank you and I'm going to have you turn just right here. All right, so go ahead and repeat the words 99. 99. And again. 99. 99. Perfect, you can go ahead and turn around and we're going to do the same thing over again. 99. 99, 99. Perfect. So basically what I'm, what I'm feeling for is I'm feeling those little vibrations from the words 99. That's positive and that's a good thing. Okay. okay? So the next thing we're going to be doing is um, I'm just going to be palpating your ribs and your sternum area. Let me know if you feel any areas of discomfort. I'm basically looking for any lumps or bumps or anything out of the abnormal. Okay. Okay. Any, any tenderness where I'm touching? No. Mm -hmm. No areas of tenderness on your ribs? No? no? Okay. What about when I push along your sternum? No, ma'am. No? Okay. Go ahead and turn around for me. All right. And we're just going to palpate again all along your backside. I don't see any abnormal bumps, any lumps. I don't see any areas of pallor, which is grayishness, or cyanosis, which is a blue discoloration. So that's a good sign. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is called percussion. I'm basically going to be looking for areas of air that sound like in your lungs. Okay, okay. so you could take a seat for me. I'm going to start with your front side, okay? Right. 
All right, so all areas anteriorly are resonant to percussion, which is a normal finding. Okay. Gonna get on your back. Perfect. Um, so that's the same on the back side. All areas are resonant to percussion, which is a normal finding. Okay. okay. So the next part of the exam is going to be um, listening for bronchophony, which I'm going to go ahead and grab my stethoscope for. Okay. All right. You can go ahead and stand up for me. So basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be listening to your lungs. I'm going to have you repeat the word 99. Okay. Okay. We'll discuss the findings after. Go ahead. 99. 99. Perfect. Can I have you turn around? Thank you. And we're going to do it again. 99. 99. Perfect. All right, John. So basically what I was listening for is when you say the words 99, I'm listening to see is it really loud pitch and clear or is it a muffled noise? Yours is muffled, which is normal. Basically okay. means that there's no areas of fluid in the lung. That's good. Okay. So the next test we're going to be doing is listening for egophony. We're going to repeat the same exact process, but this time instead of saying 99, you're going to just say E. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. E. E. Perfect. Turn around for me. Go ahead. E. E. Perfect. All right. So with this exam, what I'm looking for is am I looking and I'm hearing the word E or am I hearing the word A? If I'm hearing the word A, that's telling me that there are areas um, that fluid could be backed up. Yours sounds perfect. I just hear E. So that's wonderful. Okay. You can have a seat. Thank you. The next test we're going to perform is called the whispered, whispered pector, pectorology exam. Basically, I'm going to be listening to your lungs. And we're going to be, I'm going to have you whisper the word 99, and I'll let you know what I hear after. Okay. Go ahead. E. E. All right, John, so when I perform that exam, I should not be able to hear you whispering the words 99, and I didn't, so that is a normal finding. Perfect. So the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be checking the diaphragmic, um, ex, the uh, diaphragmic excursion. Um, basically, I'm testing to see where your diaphragm sits on inspiration and expiration. Um, you might feel I'm going to pick a little mark on your back once we do some breathing techniques, and then we're going to measure the space between the two. Okay. okay. So I'm going to put my stethoscope down. I'm going to go ahead and grab my pin and my measuring device. Okay. And so for this, I'm actually going to have you um, turn the other way. Okay. Perfect. All right. So I'm going to be doing earlier like what we the little percussion where I was tapping on with my hand. Okay? okay. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to take a nice deep breath, release that breath, and hold it for me. One second. That's okay. Hold it for me. Okay. So I'm just going to mark right above the finger. Good. All right, go ahead and release that breath for me. All right, now I'd like you to take just a couple normal breaths to get your diaphragm back into regular rhythm. You let me know when you feel normal, and we'll go ahead and do it again. Okay. So on this one, you're going to take a nice deep breath and instead of releasing, you're going to hold it, okay? Go. All right. Perfect. Go ahead and hold it. Okay. I'm going to make a little mark right here. Go ahead and release it. So now I'm going to measure in centimeters um, the space between the first and second line. And you're right at four centimeters. You can go ahead and turn. Four centimeters is a normal finding. Anywhere from three to five is considered normal. Perfect. Perfect. All righty. So next we're gonna go ahead and start um, listening to your lungs, okay? I'm gonna listen to about eight different areas on your um, anterior and posterior, okay? And then I'll let you know what I hear after.
done. All right, go ahead and take a break, get some normal breaths, and then we're gonna go ahead and do the back side. Okay. <clears throat> All right, go ahead. Uh -huh. So what I'm hearing when I'm listening is that you're very, you, I can hear a really good um, inspiratory air and expiratory air flow out. It's nice and clear. I'm not hearing any um, adventitious or what are known as abnormal heart um, lung sounds. So that's good. Yes. Okay. So next we're going to go ahead and take a listen to your heart. Um, we're going to listen to your heart in five different areas. The five different areas are known as the aortic, pulmonic, um, embers point, tricuspid, and your mitral valve area, okay? So I'm gonna to listen to your heart um, sitting up first, and then I'm gonna have you lay down and lay down too. Okay. So aortic. Pulmonic. Herbs point, tricuspid, and mitral. Perfect. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn my stethoscope to listen with the bell, okay? And we're going to uh, repeat the same process. Right. So, aortic. Pulmonic, herbs point, tricuspid, and mitral. Perfect. Can I get you to go ahead and lay back for me? Okay, thank you. Then we're going to repeat. Aortic. Pulmonic, herbs point, tricuspid, and mitral. Perfect. Again with the bell. Aortic. Pulmonic. Herbs point, tricuspid, and mitral. Perfect. You can go ahead and sit up for me. There you go. All right, John, so taking a listen to your heart sounds, everything sounds wonderful. You have a nice strong heartbeat. Your heart um, rate is normal. And also I hear a nice S1 and S2, which basically just um, basically, it's what we use to determine or basically to describe the lub dub, lub dub noise that you hear when you hear your heartbeat. Okay, so your exam looks wonderful. I don't have any um, concerns. Do you have any questions or concerns for me? No, not at all. Perfect. I think you look great. You seem to be in wonderful health. Keep up the physical activity. Eat healthy. Drink lots of water, okay? Sure. So I feel comfortable just seeing you back in about a year for your next yearly checkup. Perfect. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure to meet you. Thank you for letting me take care of you today. Absolutely. Thank Have you. a good one. Mm -hmm.